you know, in Africa, you have either been infected by the disease or affected by the disease. I think none of us has been left untouched by the epidemic. We either have relatives living with it or we know friends that we've lost because of the HIV. And to get people actually come forward, and the only thing that is bringing them forward is because they want to help, uh, I think is, um, is quite a wonderful experience. It's exemplified by when we actually started doing the vaccine trial. I think the test was really the day we opened the door, the gate, and saying we are recruiting people for vaccine trial. And the day before we were imagining, when we open that door tomorrow, will people walk in from the community? Are they going to walk in? And to see very many people actually come in curious, saying we want to learn more about vaccine, and to talk to them, and screen them, and enroll, um, until the, we, we enrolled quite rapidly, faster than we had ever planned, was, I think, coming to maturity of our program. It was, it was the most wonderful experience I've ever come through. By the time we stopped enrolling, we actually, there were more than half of the people we had enrolled that were waiting, they had screened and qualified to enter into the study. And to have volunteers keep on coming back and saying, when is the next vaccine trial? I want to come and enroll. And when you ask them, what is the reason you want to do that? They say, I just want to do anything I can to help. Research is underdeveloped in Africa. We need to develop research. We need to conduct research in Africa. As far as the HIV program problem is concerned, I think Africa has the opportunity to contribute towards the solution to the problem. But over and beyond that, I think it's a win-win situation. Research improves the infrastructure for care and treatment and prevention of HIV while at the same time the research scientists are able to answer the questions that they need to improve on care of and prevention of HIV. So I think research leads to sustainable healthcare in Africa uh, through transfer of technology, through building capacity, through trainings, and that spills over into the larger care and treatment program. When I look at the transformation Kericho District Hospital has undergone in the last eight years since Walter Project came and compared with the transformation it underwent for the past almost 30 years of its existence, it has been tremendous in the last eight years. And most of it is because of the collaboration with the research activities of Walter Reed. Somewhere after we started the work, a new angle came in and that is the care and treatment program that was brought by the President's Emergency Plan for, for AIDS relief. I mean, to be able to have something that is going to turn a disease that was devastating into a disease that you can live with is beyond my wildest dream at that particular time. We knew an AIDS diagnosis was a death sentence. You died. To be able to go back and tell people that you don't have to die, um, was, was unimaginable, and it's been a miracle to be able to do that. We had care and treatment going for almost two years before we started vaccine trial, so we had already established very close community uh, trust, because most people know the Walter Reed as the organization that treats HIV. What care and treatment achieved was to destigmatize HIV. Suddenly people were willing to come forward for testing, they were willing to talk about HIV because if you found that you have a disease, care and treatment was available. So it was no longer a death sentence. You know, at the end of the day, we are all the same. We all want the same thing, we work for the same things, and we have the same capacities. What sometimes lacks is the opportunities to be able to prove that. And from the very word go, we wanted to project the Kericho program as a Kericho run program by the Kenyans for Kenyans. We know we contribute towards the larger scientific question. We are part of the human race and we share the same problems. But I think it is very important for the public to be able to actually see that the program is run by the sons and daughters of the communities that we are working in.